It's not uncommon for the younger generations to go into their family business. And sometimes that business is show business. But it's not always the child following the parents' footsteps. In the acting world, there are a number of siblings who caught the acting bug. Now, there are a bunch you have probably already heard of. The Baldwins, the Wayans, Arquettes, Wahlbergs, and even the Afflecks are some of the big, recognizable family names. But here are 10 other sets of siblings you may not have known about. Number 10. Joan and John Cusack If you grew up when the movie Sixteen Candles was every teen's anthem, then you might already know about these two siblings. However, some people might not be as familiar with the Cusack clan. Joan and John are the most well-known, but they aren't even the only family members making movies. There are actually three other siblings and even their father in the show business profession. In fact, the mom is basically the odd man, uh, woman, out of the family gatherings. Obviously, theater seems to be in the Cusack blood, but while most siblings have their own resume, Joan and John have actually been in the same movie nearly a dozen times. From Class in 1983, War Inc. in 2008, and my personal favorite, Gross Point Blank, they seem to enjoy sharing the spotlight. Number 9. Warren Beatty and Shirley MacLaine Two legendary stars that most people never knew were connected. McLean was actually Shirley's middle name, but she dropped the baby for her stage name. With a theater coach for a mom, this brother and sister pair seem to be polar opposites from our previous siblings. Warren and Shirley have never actually been in a film together, and according to an interview with Shirley, apparently never will. She doesn't feel that they'd be a good fit in the same movie, but that doesn't seem to be slowing down either of their star power. Warren Beatty is best known for Bonnie and Clyde and Dick Tracy, with a more recent move into directing. Shirley MacLaine, arguably the more famous sibling, has been making films for more than half a century now. Some of Shirley's moments in the spotlight include Terms of Endearment, Still Magnolias, The Apartment, and of course, Downtown Abbey. Number 8. Zoe and Emily Deschanel Another product of showbiz parents, a director and an actress made two beautiful baby girls, who both grew up to be actresses. Zoe and Emily managed to look simultaneously similar and different, making their sisterly bond more surprising. Both women are currently famous for their TV roles, with Emily starring on Bones and Zoe starring in New Girl. Emily's name was not as well known before the show, though her work on the crime drama earned her praise and recognition. Doe-eyed Zoe, however, has taken a more indie flick route to her stardom before her big role in the blockbuster Elf. Though not close as children, the sisters are now great friends, even having babies close in age. Number 7. Journey Smollett-Bell and Jesse Smollett Despite their unique names, people tend to go blink when they hear Smollett, until they see their faces. This close duo has had a slow but steady rise, with solid acting roles under their belts. Journey started off on Full House as a friend of the sassy Michelle, but you've probably heard of some of her other roles since they were, you know, giant hits. She was a part of Eve's Bayou, True Blood, and Friday Night Lights, just to name a few. Jesse was part of the Mindy Project and some small roles when he was younger, but has hit the big time with his recent gig. You may have heard of a show called Empire? Yep, he's on it in a big role. Perhaps the most interesting tidbit is that along with their four other siblings who grew up putting on their own plays, poetry readings, and concerts, they had a show together. Yes, all six siblings were on a show together. And they played siblings. Shocking, we know. On Our Own only lasted a year, but what a cool story they'll all get to tell their grandkids one day. Number 6. Ralph and Joseph Fiennes Sometimes people come along where, once you hear the connection, you smack yourself upside the head for not realizing it earlier. Once you see Ralph, or Rafe as I hear he likes to be called, and Joseph Fiennes next to each other, their relationship becomes obvious. The handsome brothers have both made a name for themselves. Ralph has been in so many hits, it would take us hours to list them all, so here are just a few. Schindler's List, The Constant Gardener, The Duchess, oh, and Harry Potter. Oh, and The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Oh, and, well, you get the idea. He's been in a lot. But Joseph can hold his own against his brother. Joseph has been in Elizabeth, Shakespeare in Love, Sinbad, and Running with Scissors. Oh, and American Horror Story. 
Oh, and a little series called The Handmaid's Tale. Number 5. Kate and Rooney Mara Unlike the previous siblings, these two sisters would not have you guessing they were related. Both beautiful, but both with very different looks. Kate and Rooney Mara are indeed sisters. These two sisters were part of four siblings who grew up in a huge sports family. But these two ladies went a different route. And by sports family, we really mean it. Their dad is an executive with the Giants, and their grandfather was the co-owner. Kate has had some big roles already, such as the Netflix series House of Cards. She started out with small parts of various sitcoms and moved up to small, recurring roles. As she transitioned onto the big screen, she got a role in Brokeback Mountain. And since then, Kate has been building her resume with numerous films, including We Are Marshall, The Open Road, American Horror Story, and Fantastic Four, just to name a few. Rooney, on the other hand, made her splash in Hollywood for her breakout role, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. But that wasn't her first acting gig. She started off with guest roles in TV as well. As she moved into movies, she was in the 2010 release of Nightmare on Elm Street. She has since been in Kubo and the Two Strings, Pan, and A Ghost Story. Number 4. Kate and Oliver Hudson Kate is known in the film world, while Oliver has just stepped up on the small screen, so not everyone is aware of their connection. Kate and Oliver are the kids of Hollywood legend Goldie Hawn. Their biological dad is Bill Hudson, though the kids have long since felt that their stepdad, Kurt Russell, was always the father figure in their lives. Kate, who was the spitting image of her mom, hit the limelight first. Kate's name started hitting the spotlight around the turn of the century when she had five films come out in the span of only two years. 200 Cigarettes, About Adam, Gossip, Dr. T and the Women, and my favorite, Almost Famous. And she definitely hasn't slowed down since. But there's no sibling rivalry here. The Han, Hudson, Russell clan has always seemed like a real-life Brady Bunch from how they talk about each other to the natural laugh lines that cover their faces. So Oliver's rise into fame has been another thing to smile about. He had some small roles in movies and was on Dawson's Creek for a bit, but his leading role on the sitcom Rules of Engagement is when people really started to take notice. And sitcoms seemed to suit him, since he went on to Nashville and Screen Queens. Oh, and just a heads up, the offspring of Goldie and Kurt, Wyatt Russell, has gotten the acting itch too. He has the lead role in Table 19, a less known but incredibly awesome film. Number 3. Jason and Justine Bateman it's easy to miss the connection here, since this brother and sister seem to have careers decades apart. Justine was a household name in the 80s, while Jason's fame hit the gas around 2003. Jason started off with small roles in Little House on the Prairie and Silver Spoons. He ended up being part of the fairly big sitcom called Valerie, which later changed names to the Hogan family. Yet stardom didn't stick, and though he had a recognizable face, it wasn't until 2003's Arrested Development smash hit that people started to take notice. And since then, people can't seem to get enough of him. Jason has been in Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Couples Retreat, Horrible Bosses, and Identity Theft, along with, like, dozens of other things. Justine's fame has been the opposite of her brothers. Her first role was her biggest. She played one of the stars on the sitcom Family Ties. Justine's resume shows steady work, with various guest roles, starring roles, and movies, but none have quite made the splash that her first role did. Part of that is due to Justine's other interests. She sold handmade knitted items for her own designer company, has taken up writing, involved herself with the actor's rights, and become a voice in the fight for net neutrality. Before we move on, be sure to hit that subscribe button below so you are always the first to know about our new videos. Number 2. Scott and Chris Evans These funny brothers tend to play very different roles. Scott and Chris Evans grew up with a mom that taught theater, a father who was a dentist, and two sisters. So they have fantastic smiles, have learned how to be sensitive, and can act. Scott got his start on the soap opera One Life to Live and has since been in films like Behaving Badly and was on the series Go Go Boy Interrupted. Chris is arguably the more famous brother, but there's no rivalry between them. The list of awesome films Chris has been involved with includes Fantastic Four, The Nanny Diaries, and Gifted. However, Chris is probably best known for being Captain America. As part of that role, he has been a part of various superhero teams that saved the world countless times. Thank you, Captain Chris. Number 1. Robin and Blake Lively 
Blake Lively, aka Mrs. Ryan Reynolds, has a bunch of siblings and a bunch of them act. But the more recognizable of these siblings is Robin Lively. Though Robin and Blake look absolutely nothing alike, Robin has been acting since she was little with guest roles on Punky Brewster and Silver Spoons. She was in Karate Kid 3, Teen Witch, and some TV movies. She's also had roles on Twin Peaks, Doogie Howser, and Chicago Hope. The recent years have involved Robin guest starring on a lot of sitcoms, like too many to list. She has a face you immediately recognize but can't always place. Blake, who is technically her half-sister, is known for both her career and her spouse. Her breakout role was a lead in the TV series Gossip Girl, followed by being a part of the blockbuster Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. More recently, Blake has been in The Age of Adeline and The Shallows. And then, you know, there's the fact that she's married to the movie star Ryan Reynolds. So, who's your favorite acting family? Tell us about it in the comments below, and thanks for watching!